हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो वेलकम अगेन फॉर अनदर लेक्चर ऑन इंजीनियरिंग ग्राफिक्स आइसोमेट्रिक प्रोजेक्शन एज यू नो दैट अर्लियर वी डिस्कस दैट इन आइसोमेट्रिक प्रोजेक्शन द ऑब्जेक्ट विल बी रिड्यूज बाय इट्स लेंथ नाइन इज टू इलेवन सो दिस टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ एन आइसोमेट्रिक प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ ए कम्पोजिट सॉलिड आई एम गोइंग टू यूज ए स्क्वायर ब्लॉक स्क्वायर ब्लॉक ऑफ फिफ्टी एम एम साइड एंड हाई ट्वेंटी एम एम and above that i am going to keep a sphere and uh, when we want to go for isometric projection initially what we will do we will draw a isometric scale the method to draw isometric scale will be what we will do we will draw a horizontal line oa suppose oa that is a horizontal line then on this horizontal line i will draw a line at 30 degree inclination and another line at 45 degree inclination so if i mark length in the 45 degree line then that will represent the true length of the object and uh, what i have done i have marked 10 20 30 40 50 50 mm in the actual length from our scale now from this 50 point i if i drop a perpendicular on oa where it cuts the this 30 degree incline line that length will be 50 iso 50 iso means 9 upon 11 of 50 so in this way i have dropped perpendiculars from all these points 40 30 20 10 so what i will get from the lower line that is 30 degree incline line we can directly find out the length that is 40 iso 30 iso 20 iso or 10 iso so in this way we can directly pick the distance from this lower line that will be the conversion from the true line to the isometric length now the my problem will be i want to draw a square block that will be a 50 mm side and that will be kept on its one of its base on the hp with vertical face parallel to vp so in the starting as we know that we will start with 30 30 inclination lines so i will mark a line 30 degree incline to the reference line and another line again incline 30 degree to the horizontal so two 30 degree lines and the third line that will represent the height of the block that will be the vertical line so these are actually my three isometric axes now i want to put the lens in these axes so initially the side of the block will be 50 mm so 50 i am going to pick from this 30 degree line now this 50 will be iso 50 so that i am going to mark on this same way in the opposite side and as the height of the or you can say the thickness of the block will be 20 so i have picked 20 iso from this and that will be like this so now usually i can convert this, this into a, a square block 3d form that is isometric so what you have to do you have to draw lines parallel to these lines
so what i have done i have drawn these two lines at 30 degree incline to the reference line that is representing two isometric axes then i have plotted this length 50 mm then height 20 mm and in the same process i have drawn this line parallel to this this line parallel to this and up again this line will be parallel to this line and this line will be parallel to this and these two lines will be parallel to these vertical lines now this is almost that is done that will be a square block if i darken the shape then this is the final so now i am going to darken this part of the block now about this i am going to keep a sphere as you remember that isometric projection of a sphere will be a circle of two sides not the reduced length so initially what i am going to do i am going to mark the center of this top face so this point will be the center now as you know that a sphere will be kept on touching this corner when it will be on the orthographic projection but when we draw it in the isometric projection as there will be it will be a 3d object and uh, the overall look will be a 3d object so the sphere will be look like coming little lower to this point and the concept for that will be to draw the sphere what we will do from this point that will be the center on this what i am going to do i will draw a line perpendicular to this and above this center i am going to mark the center of the sphere and the center of the sphere will be at iso 30 height not true height so i have marked this point that will be the center of my sphere so that will be 30 mm above iso 30 above this now from this c i will draw a circle of actual 30 so actual 30 means take the c as center and this actual 30 and draw this circle so it will come like this I have taken a very big size sphere so it will look like this what we want to observe that when we draw this sphere the sphere will be little comes below the actual this distance will be iso 30 that is 30 into 20 upon 7 but the radius of this sphere will be that is true 30 means true radius or you can say 30 m now i can darken the back part of this because this will be visible so i will darken this part if i want to dimension this then we will dimension also a parallel to these isometric lines so this will be 20 iso 
so this is the projection of this arrangement this is isometric projection one thing i want to tell you whenever in any problem there will be a sphere or hemisphere or first term of a sphere will be there along with any other solid then what we will do we will always draw isometric projection not the isometric view so from next time onwards be remember this one and draw accordingly i hope you understand this concept this is very important concept of a sphere draw in your sketchbook thank you thank you very much